I'm here on the Merluna Festival 2008 backstage with Klim1918, with Marco and Paolo, the brothers, and I'm going to ask them some questions for you right now. Hey, how are you doing? Are you feeling good after your show on the Merluna? Yeah, we're feeling good. We are quite hard because uh, we are already played uh, the festivals, and uh, every time it's just so hard and, and, uh, to, to play here because it's so stressing, but it's so much fun we, we got here. It's the second time for us in Germany and Merluna. It's beautiful. It's normally a more festival for the for the dark kind, yeah. But uh, your music is actually very very broad band. It has some interesting guitar action and some very cool voices. How do you feel in response to this new audience? We are really interested to express yourself and to um, organize our uh, music for the people who want to uh, understand uh, this kind of duality in our music, the, the, the happiness and the, the darkness meet together. So um, the, the, the Klimt 1918 music is for, for a special audience and it's not a dark audience or not a uh, pop audience but it's a it's a it's a Klimt 1918 audience who likes a part of this darkness, a part of, of, of this sweetness mixed together. It's a beautiful explanation, actually. Um, what is it about your band name? I just wanted to ask, how does it uh, come together that you called Klimt 1918? Is there something special to it? Please explain. Yes, we love some very much uh, Gustav Klimt. Is a, a famous painter of the 19th century. He lived in uh, Österreich, in Vienna, and we we love so much uh, his painted, his painting. And uh, we we usually say that his his, uh, his art is really similar to our kind of music, because in this in uh, in uh, Klimt art there is a kind of darkness, there is a kind of uh, uh, a, a very taste for the color and uh, a, uh, it's, it's uh, really, really um, complex, like our music. So uh, the name sounds well, claimed 1918. 1918 is the year, is the year he died. And uh, it's a, a really important date for the Europe because it's the date uh, when um, the First World War is ended, first of all. And uh, it's also the, the year uh, when uh, Klimt is died. And uh, when Klimt died, died also uh, the Österreich, died also the um, Asburgic uh, age. And uh, it's uh, uh, when you say Klimt 1918, it's like you say this is the end of the 19th century. This is the, the starting of the new century, the, the 20th century. And uh, it's really uh, interesting. It's really cinematic. It's really tasty, this kind of... Uh, uh, it's beautiful, actually, because I thought uh, it, there's so much meaning in this in this name. You wouldn't expect it at the first uh, the first appearance of this name when you when you don't know it yet. But actually, your music speaks for for itself. And I just wanted to ask you something special about this um, this country. Germany has a big uh, Gothic scene, I guess, and but in a way, it is responding to all kinds of other music influences. And when you see the Maruluna as the top of the spear, yeah, where you actually see all kinds of bands perform. Uh, how do you feel? You're from Italy. Is there a com compared scene? Is there something that is similar to this or is this a unique event for you? I think it's a unique event uh, for us because in Italy we don't have that, that type of festivals that, that mix some different kind of music. This probably happens for uh, uh, more uh, commercial and uh, more alternative uh, stuff. Maybe we got, we got big festival in Italy that we can find maybe, maybe Alanis Morissette and uh, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers and stuff like that. But we don't have uh, goth scenes, dark scenes in, in Italy. So.
for us Mera Luna or Way Goddy Treffen as on a song. It means underground music, indie music. It's a lack of indie music in Italy, it's a lack of compression for this kind of music. And this is the more important thing when when you when you come here in Germany we say we we can understand in the air, we can feel in the air this kind of interest, this kind of love for all the kind of music, not just for the for the uh, overground music like U2, like uh, Coldplay and stuff like that, but also for the underground expression of music, and it's very very nice. It's important because Germany is. Uh, we know about the, from the music business that the Germany is the most important place for music because there are many festivals. If we talk about live music, for example, uh, there are many festivals of goth and dark. There are many festivals of indie rock music. There are many festivals, many festivals of metal like rock and ring and stuff like that, and many festivals of pop and stuff. So it's probably is the best place to tour, the best place to to play live because all the people love music and when you probably download the music from the internet if they like the music they they buy the CDs and stuff like that this is so, so much important and we found out that from Germany there is passion and love for music and that's it is amazing it's very beautiful um, and the other thing is uh, what's your future expectations right now? If there are fans out there, they probably want to know where you want to go. Uh, is it your intention to tour the world? You want to go for some specific country? Or when does the next album come out? Is there some movement already, some plan made? Uh, we are, uh, as, uh, as we say, we are surfing on the, on the trails of, of the new album. So we are moving, uh, we are waiting for uh, some answers or some stuff like that. We look forward to to play much live as possible and to um, probably to uh, to spread our music as much as possible around it's probably our first goal is it's not important to, to, to sell too much CDs and stuff like that is the most impossible the most important thing is to to spread our music around and let the people know about our music as so. well are you happy with the things that you already achieved? Was it a big step for you to play here and come to Germany and, and make a big tour? Are you happy, guys, or are you still craving for more? It's absolutely awesome to be here. I said that we're on the stage. It's really awesome to be in Meraluna. And uh, it's a, such an honor to share a stage with Valor and uh, Christian Dead. What can I say? It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's not our first time in Germany. We, we toured a lot in Germany. We played. Uh, it's not our first time in, uh, in Meraluna. It's the second time we played. Uh, I got it Treffen, and we played in Berlin and many places in Germany. We toured uh, in Germany many times. So we, 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 we know that Germany is the, is the right place to play. So we, every time we, we, we get offers from Germany, we are happy because the, the crowd is really warm and uh, it's cool. It's beautiful. So, we are German too. <laughs> yeah, our, yeah, grandfa we German. our grandfather was German from but Frankfurt. We, it's crazy. Well, but we, we, we got a, a German surname, so our family is from German. But we don't speak German. What are the, the surnames? What are the surnames? Zölna. 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 S O E L L. Zölna. Zölna. There are different pronunciations by every, every part of Germany. We got a, a completely different pronunciation in Italy. I understand. <laughs> it's so funny because we, what's your surname? Zulna. Uh, I like the, the reggae singer, Hans Zulna. Reggae hero, Hans uh, Zulna. Uh, uh, we, we, we don't know, we know him. Uh, and we, From Munich. We don't like reggae, so, but, it, but it's cool. Uh, he does this, uh, this songs about pot smoking and all this stuff. I know it's very um, controversial what he does very controversial so I thank you very much for the interview of your time and I wish you a night nice time here on the Merlona we ourselves are going to drink some beer where we see you later on the bar I don't know so are you staying are you staying here or are you going, yeah, going we, uh, home tonight we stay here and then tomorrow morning we uh, we leave for summer darkness in, uh, in we play Holland. in summer darkness in another in tomorrow another morning one. tomorrow morning yeah so we, we've got two festivals in today so it'll be nice so, it was a pleasure. Thank you.